welcome back to another video. This episode, I'm going to be showing you uh, what what text ed editor to pick. So, um, when you're programming, you're normally going to be want want, want to have a text editor. Now, I've got my own atom. Here it is. So, um, just loading. So, this is atom. Basically, what you can do with it is. Hmm, what you, what you can do with it is it's basically it's basically like a code pen on your computer. So in some of my videos we've seen me coding in code pen. Atom it that's good for most things, but if you want to actually put something on the web, you can't do it in code pen. You can with this. Now if you did want to, you could export this is a very bad example. It's, So then if you do export and then export as dot zip then then it'll create a zip file and you can open it. Normally when you can go you open it in this thing, well on Windows it does, notepad. Probably the most, the most terrible text editor in the world. Because if you compare this to Atom, which is the Atom, so this is my code. Um yeah. As you see, um but normally when you're in CodePen, it it kind of codes all things depending on what they are. So like variables would be like like magenta, I guess. Um, and yeah. So um, and this just everything's black and white, and it makes it kind of difficult to um go through all your code and try and find all bugs and stuff. Um, so yeah. Also, Rattam, you can. Now let's see if I can actually find this. So, and if you do uh, settings, so you go to settings, then install, and then you can install some packages. So I have this amazing rainbow one. So enable, and now it makes that some rainbow, which um you know what? you I don't think you'll be able to do in Notepad. Notepad. So um. Even if it tries to be rainbow, it can't be. Yeah. So, yeah, that's what Atom can do. And of course, you don't have to pick Atom, I just really like Atom. There are other ones like Sublime, Sublime Text. So, this is Sublime Text. It's, it's similar to Atom, it just doesn't have. It's different. They're, they all do the same things. But they're all just slightly different, like it looks a bit different, it looks a tiny bit like Google Chrome. Okay. There you go. It does look a bit like Google Chrome. Um, um, yeah. So in this video I'm going to be showing you how to download and install Atom. So what you need to do is you need to go to atom.io and then um, depending on whether you're on Mac, on Mac or Windows it will automatically choose. And then just do download and then um, set it up and yeah. Okay, so when you create your atom, when you wait when you go into atom, it should look something like this. It should have a welcome page and not much else. Now if you want to install some packages like I have like such a name like you can try and install this atom clock I might, I might install that as well let's have a look at the atom clock you can also um, get the rainbow and now I will this one if you go for the first one that's the one I've got Atom clock. Okay, so it should have a clock somewhere. How does that one be the clock? Okay, disabled. You not work. Well, basically, it should have some really cool stuff, and um, it's really pretty cool. And um, then disable the same thing is kind of annoying. Um, no, I'm gonna keep it for the video. Yeah, I will. What I need to do first is just do file, new file, and then a new file 
but this time it's the same as normally um atom it's the same as that rubbish doll pop so it's a note that I'd like to well if you save it as I'll save it put down this folder I'll put all this one um waffle Dr. there you go and now bang rainbow and then what I can do this is um um waffle Oh. There we go. Now, when you want to run this property, you go to your file explorer. And then go to downloads. And then I'll just search awful. And then find this. There we go. You li you just made the very first thing on um Atom be very proud and as you can see the code is right here so it's like in code 10 this is slightly different and now that's just a shortcut I just used it's um really not a shortcut actually so it's um just windows button and arrow keys and magic happens I know amazing Then, uh, just have some more code to this. Um, you really want to add your doc type. Unlike in code pen, you have to do like doc type and stuff like that. So that's just um, doc type. Now, I think that's it. Yeah, I'll just check. I'm very bad at remembering dot types. Okay, index. There we go, I got it there. No, I got it wrong. Never mind. Doesn't. And then when you want to save your um, programs, by the way, you don't have just have to do HTML files like I am. And you can do whatever you want in this. So, um, yeah, it's just like in Copen, except it doesn't have like the tabs and stuff. So, head. I just want to indent this, but... There we go. File save. Should do anything to our program, but never mind. Now I'm just going to add some style, so you know it's changed slightly. Style. This is basically CSS, by the way, and then file. Do body um color orange oh no I got a mother idea um um alright it also um gives you like like um it sort of predicts what you're gonna write when you're typing sorry if I do that. Uh, it's it, it's already you were already predicting what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna do background minus color in orange. If I can actually split and then file save, go here and just reload the page. So that's simple. This is how our waffles program made, and I'll see you next video. Bye.